Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to use the thin lens equation for the convex lens so that we can calculate the image distance, the image size, and the image orientation. And this is the case where the object is less than f. Okay, the object distance is less than f um, from, the, from the lens. All right, now you remember we kind of had three cases. Once when the object distance is greater than f, we get a, virt a real image. When the object distance is at f, then we don't get an image, and when the object is inside best, we get a virtual image. Okay, so let's go through and see what we got with our problem here. In the problem here, it says we have an object that's 3.5 centimeters tall, it's 9.5 centimeters from the convex lens, and the focal length is 12 centimeters, and it does say that it's a convex lens, and we want to know where will the image be, how, um, where will the image be located, how big will it be, and what will its orientation be. Okay, and you should already be thinking Okay, the object distance is 9.5, the, the focal point is 12 centimeters away, the object is inside the focal point. What does all of that mean? Okay, so we write everything down so we know. I'm put down, it's important to note this, I think the focal length is 12. It's actually plus 12. Convex lenses have a positive focal length, concave lenses have a negative focal length, and that's an important point, so I want to write that down and make sure I know that it's plus 12, and then we're going to figure out the image distance and the image height. And I think before you get started, it's very good if you just make this sketch really quickly. Now I'm using Keynote to make this, and I think you can just, I normally what I do is I just pick up my pen and draw a quick sketch and near the problem, and I don't even, I don't use a ruler, this is not to scale, I just put a line there for the lens, and I want to think to myself, okay, self, the object is right there. Now it's not to scale, but I drew it inside of F, and this gives me kind of a graphical or a picture in my head, and I can think to myself, okay, if the object is inside of F, where is the object gonna be? What kind of an image, what size, and what's its orientation gonna be? And you know from your ray diagram drawings that when the object is inside of F, that the image is projected behind the object, and it's bigger, and it's right side up, and it's virtual, so the image and the answers for our distances and our sizes and our orientations and magnifications and all that stuff better match so that the image appears behind the object, that it's bigger, that it's right side up, and that it's a virtual image. And if we get those kinds of answers, then we'll have a high degree of confidence in our answers because we know that that is what it should be. Now, once again, this is not drawn to scale. I'm not going to measure this to figure out the distances or the heights or the uh, an image distance. I'm just making this beyond inside of F, and I know this has to be back here somewhere oriented like that, okay? Now, we can go through and just calculate and see what happens. All right, this is the information. Here's a thin lens equation. I want to solve for di. This is 1 over F, 12, 1 over DO, 9.5, and we want to solve for the di. So I'm going to subtract 1 over DO from both sides. If I do that, I get that the di is equal to 1 over F minus 1 over DO. Now I'm going to plug my numbers in. 1 over di is equal to 1 over 12 minus 1 over 9.5. And you can just put this in your calculator. 1 divided by 12 minus 1 divided by 9.5. Most calculators will do this properly. Otherwise, you might have to calculate each one separately and then subtract. But you will get that 1 over di is equal to minus, and it's important that it's minus, 0 0.0219. Now, this is not the di. Some people, oh, that's a di. That's not the di. That's 1 over the di. I have to take the reciprocal. I have to flip both of these sides upside down. And then I'll be able to keep my, keep my equality. And then I will, if I flip this number upside down, I take the reciprocal, I get di. If I take the reciprocal of this side, I get 1 over negative 0.0219. So I can do this. And then once again, you have to remember, this is 1 divided by this number. A lot of people just say, oh, once again, the di is... 0.0219. No, it's 1 divided by negative 0.0219. And if you do that on your calculator, 1 divided by, you will get that the image distance is minus 45.6. Now, so far, that seems good because we said the image has to be farther away from the object, from the lens than the object, and it's negative. That tells us it's on the same side as the object. Okay, 45 is greater than 9.5, so okay, we feel good about the image distance. All right, so that's our image distance, 45.6 centimeters, and now we can calculate the size of the image. In order to do that, we have to calculate the magnification, 
This is the magnification. It's important to remember, once again, that the magnification is equal to minus di over do, and that means it's minus, the di was minus 45.6, and this is 9.5. Now, you should be thinking, okay, negative, negative, that's a positive. If I divide those, I get positive 4.8. That means that it's going to be 4.8 times, the image is going to be 4.8 times bigger than the object, and once again, that means the image is going to be bigger than the object. We said that at the very beginning. The image better be bigger than the object, and the image is going to be bigger than, 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 than the object, so that makes us feel good. But in order to actually calculate the image height, we have to use the other magnification equation, which is HI over HO. We're going to place, uh, rearrange this to solve for the HI. HI, the image height, is M divided by, by the, excuse me, is M times the object height. If we plug the numbers in, our magnification is 4.8, our object height is 3.5 centimeters, and we get that the image is 16.8 centimeters tall. And this is a positive image height, which means it has the same orientation as the object. If it was a negative, then it would have the other orientation. Now remember, the object was, in, was upright, and in this case, the image, therefore, is going to be upright because this is a positive number, a positive image height. All right, so we can plug that in here. We can see we got everything finished. Now let's just go back and compare what we thought we were gonna to get to what we actually got. We said the object is inside of F. The image distance better be more than F, excuse me, yeah, more than F or more than the object distance, which it is, this should say image. And the object better be right side up, which this indicates that it is, and it better be bigger. 16.8, this is 3.5, it is bigger, so we feel very confident that we got the right answers there. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. You gotta go step by step by step. Don't forget your negative signs, write your equations down, fill in the values and get the answers with the correct units. And I think if you do that step by step and take it easy, you and think about it really as you go along, you will be successful also, okay? Thanks for watching, if you thought that was helpful, Give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment down in the comment section. Thank you very much.